Hey, what's going on, Knights? Name is the Gamer. We're back to another SG video. So today, I know for the past few videos, it looks like I'm wearing the same shirts. It's because I've literally recorded like five videos today. <laughs> Am I crazy? Yes, I. <laughs> I don't know, but I wanted to make this video um, to kind of give tips because I'm a beginner. So basically, what I've learned as I'm going and I want to kind of give tips especially those of y'all who um, started playing the game with me um, by the way before you start play, if you want to play this game go ahead and download it uh, it would first off it would support my channel if you downloaded it once you're creating your character on the bottom left hand side use the code easy and you'll get a whole bunch of in-game goodies and you actually to be honest I and I'm going to make a video a different video on this subject but it, it has actually grown on me and I'm not just saying that because yes this is, this is a paid partnership but I still do like the game because it's very unique and it uh, even though it's very different from what I normally play I still like the game but we'll go ahead and start uh, this and we're also summoning my double s books today as well I have a whole bunch of a whole bunch of summons but we'll be doing these later on <laughs> later on uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do these these bonuses. So first off, if you just log into the game and collect these bonuses, because I feel like uh, they're so worth it. I don't even like I don't spend that much money on the game. I've spent like 15 bucks, five bucks here and there. They give you like two dollars stuff and whatnot. It's really cool, uh, but I haven't spent that much. Everybody's like, you're already paid to play. I know, I know, I know. I can't, I can't resist. Ever since the first game I've ever, mobile game I've played, I've, I've been spending money. So little tips I've learned, like stuff I've learned as I'm going is that, first off, um, usually when it comes to these games, like the main character itself, like the character you create, usually they're kind of like meh. They don't usually do much compared to the actual heroes that you collect in the game but this game kind of changes that perspective <laughs> actually this guy can probably be the best <laughs> on your team because uh depending on the on the weapons you have and all the gear because you put gear on, on on him as well and you have your separate kind of upgrading gear for this guy first off let's talk about exp right when it comes to your phantoms um you want you want to level them up especially like when it comes to like, these are the four I'm using right now. They might not be the best heroes. I might be investing in the wrong heroes, but uh, so be it. I wanted, I, I thought they were pretty good. I've even, um, I don't even know what it's called, but I've uh, <laughs> brought this girl to level four, which uh, brings her to like, you can, I can, I can make her into level a hundred. That's basically what it means. Um, just because I feel like she's really, really good. Um, but EXP, best way you can get EXP is through these guys. Um, you don't, I don't think you do the same, you don't get as much experience. And I don't know if they're doing this on purpose, if this is the game, the way they're going for the gameplay. Um, but you don't get as much, uh, experience as you do. Uh, so let's say, let's say this girl, right? If I want to, uh, upgrade her. Um, I go to elements, I go here. How much does it give me? It gives me 12,000, about 12,000 experience. Those things are so valuable. Um, and you can actually farm them. Not even that you can get better stuff farming them, go to adventure and you get these little phantom things right here. Uh, you go to level 40, they're pretty easy. You get these, um, right here. You get those right there. Really good. That's the best way to, to get exp it isn't like other games where you find a place and you start farming i was trying to figure that out i was like man where do i go and i was like i need to upgrade these heroes i don't know where to to get experience from i tried autoing it so they can um do it them like like gain experience themselves and i left it there for 30 minutes and they didn't even they weren't even leveling up and i was like bro like they're gaining so little exp but these are pretty hard um mobs i'm fighting so i was like man i don't i don't get it so that's the way i've been leveling heroes i feel like the most efficient way to do it maybe i'm not sure for me that's just the way i've been doing it now this game is extremely generous when it comes to heroes you get like you can get a whole bunch of a whole bunch of heroes 
So um, there's no really lack on that. I feel like uh, as long as you just log in and collect your stuff, you'll get a whole bunch of summons. You'll eventually get a whole bunch of good heroes. One thing I noticed is that these dungeons are actually super hard. Like, look at that. I can't. There's freaking ten levels, and I'm <laughs> I'm at ten, and I've been doing. I've been playing this game for two weeks or so. So the way I've been getting gear, and you know what? I might be doing this wrong. Everybody who knows that I play this game are probably like, "Ugh, why are you doing it that way?" Like, but um, it's just the way I'm kind of understanding it. Um, so. I just do level one over and over and over. Uh, it gives you these green gear, which is not bad, right? And you're able to level up um, the gear you have because this, this, there's such a big jump with level one and then level two. Level two is like level 60s or something like that. Fortress one is freaking level 15s. How do you go from that? That's such a big jump, but it, it is what it is. Um, you do, you do get decent amount, and then you get these every now and then which give you a decent amount of experience points and then you get sometimes you get the gold summoning books as well which is nice um but we'll, we'll go ahead and get into these like look at that look at that gold that looks so nice i hope one day soon sometime i'll get there but um that's what i've been doing i haven't even touched this one they, they're like level 80s in here so i'm like oh not touching these yet so i can't touch those yet now that we're talking about gear this right here, this right here is actually very beneficial. Uh, it's a very worth it, I feel. Like, uh, you just refresh a little bit and you get these purple. I've been getting purple gears that have been just helping my team out a lot. So if, we're, if I go to Phantoms, if I go to this one, I've been heavily investing in this girl. Uh, look, I, get, I got a purple speed here, which is about one of the best you can get because that... The, the the this one right here is uh, it's always going to be speed that slot is always going to be speed so crit rate effect accuracy that's really good for her I feel like I, 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 I even though it says she's a support right somewhere it says a support she's a support I use her as a nuker she she does she has crit rate on here so yeah and speaking of gear um what I'm doing is I'm just upgrading them to plus six. And then I'm, once I'm done with her, I'm move on to the next one, plus six them, and then move on and move on. That's kind of the way my progress is uh, process is going. Um, that's yeah, that that's that's kind of my my thought process. I know these are this is like broken sets like crazy. Like this is uh, four, uh, two to four, and then this one's one out of four, and this one's one out of four, and this is what like I'm doing it so wrong but this is just the best gear i can put on her sooner or later i'll start putting actual sets on her which would be really good but um that's just kind of what i've been doing if i'm doing it wrong then i'm sorry i, <laughs> I don't know it's just the way i i'm just uh following the game so yeah i would say just refresh this shop a few times just to just to see what there is you can even go for the blue ones it is th those aren't bad at all as well um but i usually like to look for the purple ones because um yeah you never know i mean like let, let's buy that one right let's let's see let's see what um what what what's that got me uh let's see we go to change no it's not there it's not there it's not there it's here so that means it's speed it's automatically speed defense and crit damage yeah so that that's kind of what i do when it comes to the gear um you can do the demon tower oops uh oh yeah you need it you need to actually go to the demon tower dude right here so he like these give you decent award rewards. I'm actually stuck on this one, so I'm just in the middle of leveling. You get a whole bunch of you get you get a whole bunch of diamonds, summoning books, whatnot. It isn't like the prizes aren't like oh my gosh, so juicy, right? Because they're about the same. They just go up a little bit as they as they uh, go up, right? So that's eighty. Oh, so every ten. Okay, yeah. So it's the same. It's about the same. Um, yeah. So it goes up a little bit, but this. This has like 200 fours or something like that. So you need to actually like level, level here. You can't just like, uh, you can't just, yeah, look at that. 245, 248, that's where it's at. That's insane. So um, just do it as much as you can. You get a whole bunch of diamonds and whatnot, as much as you can. If you're new to the game, then I'd rather you focus on the story. Like just follow the story. 
that's how what I did. I just kept following the story, follow the story, follow the story. Even though it is boring, if you want to skip over it, just skip it. You'll get experience points, you'll get gear, you'll get a whole bunch of goodies that will help you progress in the game. I, I switch from one to the other. I go to the Demon Fortress, I farm here. Or I go here and farm water essences because I actually do have... Uh, I'm, I'm building two water units, so I want to have at least uh, a lot of water essences. You can actually get... Um, these you can actually get pieces of heroes here as well, or you can get so many books. Now gold, gold, same place. You go out an adventure. You can go here. You get a hundred and fifty thousand. Do not buy gold. I made that mistake once, and I'm never gonna do it again. Cause you get five hundred. Um, if you go to the shop, you go to no no right here. So you go to pal. You only get it. It goes from eighty thousand to one hundred forty thousand. So between that and the thing is is that like 500 diamonds you can get 525 you get so many bigger points here you get to use them here so it is so much better you get a whole bunch more gold just do it that way i feel like and and the this uh this isn't even that hard oh shoot it's not open 120 when is that well that's tomorrow so it's gonna open tomorrow but uh yeah so when it does open I'll go ahead and farm it. It's super easy. That's why I like to farm the the normal levels first and then I go do farm the higher ups. But for now I'm just doing these. The the Royal Trove, I don't really mess with this too much. It is extremely it is an extremely expensive game. Even though you see like diamonds here, you spend 50, so you only gain 50 if you end up getting that. But um these you can actually get pretty good like right there. Look at that. Uh, jade boots for your actual character and it actually does change your character which is pretty cool so if i want to if i want to equip this one right let's let's equip it right look at that it changed it's actually changing the gear which is really cool but um i like this one a lot better because he attacks multiple times with this so yeah that's that's kind of what i I do, I used to just do a little bit here and there. You do get a decent amount of diamonds just sitting there. So I was like, yeah, I might as well just use them for something, right? And I think that is the basics of what I've learned. That's kind of what I do. Funny enough, I'm farming more in this game than I am in Epic 7 because you're progressing a lot. And I think that's something I really like about this game is that like, um, there's a whole bunch of progress. Like even though it seems like a lot, um, it paces you in a correct way where it isn't way too much. It gives you enough for you. And that's why I wanted to give tips just in case you're joining me um, and playing this game. It's it, it took me a little bit to adjust um, to the art style and to the gameplay. But I actually am enjoying it funny, unironically. Even though, like I said, a paint partnership, I still unironically still like playing this game. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just wrap it up. Let's go ahead and do this double S hero. I have there's a few heroes I haven't gotten, so hopefully no ugly heroes. Let's let's uh let's do it. Let's see who we get. That's an ugly hero. I do not want that. <laughs> Come on, that's the same hero. Come on, no 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 no. I already have her, unfortunately. All right, come on, last one, last one. Come on. I don't have him. Very nice. He looks really cool. Looks really cool. Let's let's see what he does. Uh, I do not have, but unfortunately, I have so many water units. Okay, so he's a mage. Uh, what does he do? So, attacks one enemy, deals magic damage, reduces the effect, resistance by. Really? That's interesting. Uh, attacks all enemies four times, dealing 40%, freezing them for one turn. Ooh, nice. Uh, passive, when taking damage, there's a third percent chance of freezing it. Ooh, that's nice. When taking damage, there is a 20% chance to mitigate 30% of the incoming damage immediately. Start another turn. <gasps> this guy looks interesting. I might end up building him. Even though I have two heroes already freaking water, but that looks interesting. But I wanted to do those because uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm still not sure what heroes to build and whatnot, but um, yeah. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please join, join me playing. I feel like if, I feel like it, I know it seems very iffy because of the, how it looks and whatnot. Um, or, or you're like, oh, well, you're only doing this because it's a paid partnership. I still feel like it's fun. And if you give it a chance, especially if you're only playing Epic 7, if you give this a chance, it's a fun, um, 
thing to play when you're not playing Epic Seven. So especially if you're just tired of farming, like I've been playing Epic Seven for two years now. Uh, so I do, <laughs> I'm farming there for so long, you get kind of bored. So um, having this is an awesome breath of fresh air. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Every like, comment, subscription is appreciated. And I'll see you on the next video. And hope to see you on the next video or stream. All right, peace.